Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now February 15th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and especially the Gina Carano fired situation, a lot of fans have been very skeptical and curious about where the Star Wars franchise is going to go by Disney, Lucasfilm, Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, you name it. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they have already over a dozen Star Wars projects that they are working on as we speak. That really does speak volumes. It tells us that Disney and Lucasfilm are very much engaged and very much ambitious about the future of the franchise. Now, of course, everything that happened with Gina Carano, a lot of people have their own opinions. A lot of people are canceling their Disney Plus subscription. Everybody has a right to do that, and I'm in support of people's opinions and their choices of what they do with Star Wars. I, want, I am 100% on board with that. Now, when we look at everything related between John and Dave, the shows are still moving forward. You know, I know a lot of fans out there are wondering, are the shows going to get canceled? Are they going to get scrapped? What's going on? So far, as of right now, only Rangers of the New Republic looks to be heading in that direction because it was going to be a show that was going to star Cara Dune slash Gina Carano. Now, apart from all of this, we do know that over the years, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy has been pretty much a force of destruction when it comes to the franchise. We saw what she did with the sequels. We saw what she did with the box office results for Solo. And most certainly, we saw what she just did, of course, with the entirety of the Star Wars franchise in, you know, looking back at what she had promised for George Lucas and more. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing all has to do with Dave Filoni, one of the main creators of the Mandalorian series. Now that The Mandalorian Season 3 is currently in the works, Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on their new Star Wars projects with Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. However, it's noted that in a recent interview, creator Dave Filoni was able to respond to the fandom and more. Dave Filoni went on to state that he and his partner Dave Filoni, or should I say Jon Favreau, are doing everything in their power to emulate what Star Wars Legends was back in the 1990s and the early 2000s, and that he believes fans are going to have quite a thrill with new and familiar characters from the old source material that they are going to be in fact reviving. Additionally, Dave Filoni went on to explain that he and John are doing unexpected and surreal things with the Ahsoka Tano TV show that will truly redefine what Star Wars stands for and exactly how it is going to evolve dramatically in the new TV series that they are aiming to drop in 2023. Further, Dave Filoni also reveals that the future shows will 100% be modeled after George's vision and what fits best for the franchise and that, the, that they actually are not done with Luke Skywalker just yet. Now, completely separate from this, additionally, from all of this, however, behind the scenes, it's explained that the Gina Carano dilemma has actually caused Disney to go in full panic mode over the cancellations of the Disney Plus platform of course by their users and that Gina Carano just before she was fired is that Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy was not pleased with Cara Dune getting double the amount of screen time for season two and being a main lead for Rangers of the New Republic. Now Kennedy is said to have wanted Carano to have never been a part of Mandalorian and that Favreau insisted for her to be a part of the show. Gina, however, when she was fired by Lucasfilm, is described that Disney now recognizes the backlash and that they are very conflicted over considering rehiring her for the role of Cara Dune as any choice that they make, whether not rehiring her or rehiring her, will anger one side of the fan base of the entire Star Wars fandom. So let me stop right here for a second. This is a very interesting turn of events of how Disney's in a conflicted state of what they want to do with Gina Carano. If they are to rehire her, that's going to really set off a lot of fans that are against what Gina Carano posted on social media. Meanwhile, if they rehire her, that's going to be in favor of the fans that were not necessarily offended by what Gina Carano had put on social media. So it really is like a catch-22 for them. They don't know what to do. And they're very much in panic mode over the entire situation of how 
a lot of fans are canceling Disney Plus. The reason as to why they're very much in panic mode is because it doesn't just have an effect on Star Wars, it also has an effect on Marvel, it has an effect on all their other platforms that they actually have on Disney Plus. And that's a big deal. That really is a big deal for Disney right now. The fact that this entire backlash by the Star Wars fans is having a massive impact on not just how Star Wars is going to be, but also how Marvel is going to be. So they're afraid about the future on how many subscriptions they're going to be getting and how many viewers they're going to be getting for Marvel as well now. So, like I say, apart from this, Dave Filoni and John Favreau, they are still working very hard, as he said on the Ahsoka Tano TV series. They're aiming to drop that in 23, which, mind you, is a bit of a ways off. But time moves fast, in my experience, you know? You look forward to one thing, that thing ends, you look forward to the next thing. And before you know it, the thing that you look forward to the most is there. So, that's how I see things. Now, everything related to, you know, Dave Filoni is that he is really pouring his heart and soul, you know, into the Ahsoka Tano show. Everything is still moving forward. I know a lot of fans out there have been asking me, Mike, are the shows canceled? Are they going to be canceled? So far, there's no talk about that. There's no hints of that either, except for, like I say, Rangers. Rangers looks like it's going to be a reworked TV show. They're going to essentially drop a title, drop the entire plot, and drop the main lead, and change that actual main character into something else. Meanwhile, keeping it within the same exact time frame, however, taking place one month after Return of the Jedi, leading up to one year after that movie into the Battle of Jakku, showing us the downfall of the Empire and the rise of the remnants of the Empire into becoming eventually the First Order in future Mandalorian series. Now, here's the thing about this. Kathleen Kennedy always had an issue with Gina Carano. We can obviously see why. You know, they have different viewpoints on multiple different subjects. And the fact that she had more screen time significantly in season three, I should say. Um, season three was going to be a big deal for Gina Carano for Mandalorian. That's the biggest problem right now, is that Kathleen Kennedy was upset and very angered over that decision because she never really wanted Carano to have all that much screen time in season three. So, like I've said, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, they are doing everything that they can to stay on track, to stay on target with Star Wars. I'm still optimistic about what's to come for Kenobi, what's to, what's to come for Ahsoka, and most of all, you know, what's to come for Mando Season 3 and 4. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. But as I say, and as I have said before in the past, I really do believe that the Gina Carano situation is really making Disney wake up. They are in a panic mode right now, and they don't really know exactly what to do. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.